Today we are going to talk about arm swing. So now that we're kind of getting a little bit higher in these miles that we're doing in training for a half or a full marathon, we want to try to work on something that uh, is going to give us good form, is going to help us through those uh, long miles. And the nice part about that too is when you're in those later miles and you're getting tired, you kind of can focus on something, get your mind off whatever may be pain or what you may be going through. And form is always a good thing to try to distract yourself and to help you through. So when we talk about arm swing, Pretty much what we're going to talk about is having a steady arm movement, okay? And we want to be on a 90 degree angle, okay? It could be a little more, a little less, but somewhat 90 degree. When we have a long pendulum like this, our stride's going to be a lot longer and it's not going to be fluent. What you want to do is nice short and you're going to have good turnover that way. So the one thing we want to remember is that we are going to keep it on a 90 degree angle and we're going to think about moving our, show, our uh, elbows back. So in other words, it's not this, I don't want to be moving my trunk, it's just moving your arms back. And you're going to keep your arms swinging in unison. So what we don't want is one arm to stay here, this one moving, that kind of thing, or not evenly. So we want an even arm swing, 90 degrees. Next we want to worry about our shoulders and our neck. Because what happens a lot of times when we're really doing kind of this kind of stuff, we tense this up. Also later in the miles, you kind of get tensed up. So the big thing is relax. And if you really think about that elbow moving back more than it coming up and relaxing your shoulders. So we're going to be moving back and we're also going to be relaxed at the same time. So we're going to keep our head up, we're going to keep our chin out, we're going to be looking out forward, help us with our breathing, also relax. So breathing, relax, and then a nice fluid arm swing. And, you, and really your pace can pick up, you can dictate your pace by how fast you move your arms and not really so much lengthening your stride length because when we move our arms, our feet kind of follows with that. So next is gonna be our, um, what do we talk about? Head, shoulders, now our hands. The other thing is we don't wanna be gripping real tight on here. We wanna be nice and loose. I uh, remember someone telling me potato chips, kind of like you're holding potato chips, because we don't want them loosey-goosey when we're running and we're running like this and they're just flailing all over the place. You want to have them kind of closed. Just think about holding potato chips, moving nice and fluent once again. So I don't want arms out. I want them even, nice and even this way. We're not gripping too much. A lot of times with ultra runners, they'll carry a water bottle. And a lot of times they'll grip that, and you got to be careful with that because once again, that's going to kind of throw you off. We want to be balanced and relaxed, and that's going to throw you off. So you want to make sure if you're carrying a water bottle, for one, it has a strap, so you're not tying your arm out gripping that. You want to be nice and loose, but you don't want to be too loose. So those are some of the things you want to work on. So when you're running, you're with your buddies, kind of look at where you're at, how you're moving. I'm going to be moving straight forward, going. My feet's going to move the same. So when this arm goes up, this leg's going. It's going to kind of be the same. So remember, running is 